Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created add employee REST API in our Spring Boot application. And in today's video, we will install React Bootstrap in our frontend application. So let's get started. To install React Bootstrap, you need to visit reactbootstrap.netfly.app. And here we can click on this get started button. And here on the introduction page, we can get the command to install the bootstrap. So we can click on this copy button and let's go to our react application. And in our react application, we can click on this terminal and we can create a new terminal. And here we need to paste the command and we need to hit enter. And as you can see, React Bootstrap got installed successfully and it updated our package.json file as well. And here you can verify the versions as well where Bootstrap version is 5.3 and React Bootstrap version is 2.9. Now let's go back to our React Bootstrap website. And here we need to scroll down a little bit and we will get one import statement which we need to add in index.js. So let's copy this import statement and let's go back to our VS code. And here we need to open our index.js file and we need to paste the import statement here. And after this, let's save this file. And after this, we need to verify if our bootstrap is working. And to do that, we can open our app.js file. And here we need to remove the existing code. And here we will write one h1 tag and we will mention hello world and we will give it a class of text center which is a bootstrap class to align the text in the center of the page. Now let's save this file and let's run our application. And as you can see we got our text hello world which is aligned in the center. And that's it for this video. In the next video, we will install a routing and we will create the header component in our React application.